sugar equivalent. Do you want me to say it? Uh, piconilo? Piconilo? Piloncillo. Piloncillo. Brown sugar. And Nari is putting yeast. Put it in a cup of hot water. This is 500 grams. Okay. Flour goes in the pot. And then she's adding uh, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Uh, a little salt. A little bit of salt. Are farm fresh. Has that been verified? <laughs> but you add the yeast last. White bread. Bol blanco? Uh -huh. Blanco pan. Sewing machine in the studio, catch up with Mary, and yep. uh, yeah. Forty-two. Oh, that's a lot of rabbits. Cincuenta. Fifty-four. Wow. Si no están buenos, no debemos contarlos. Este no? Está muy duro. Este no. Yeah. This is before we uh, learned how to do it better. We're actually really good at tanning hides now. Very cool skill. Yeah? Yeah. What happened with this one? This was before we got good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you ever worked with rabbit skin before? <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. And what were you hoping to do with all of these rabbit Well, um, we don't have a lot of ways to make clothing. And animal skins are actually one of the first forms of clothing. So I'm kind of excited that we can make anything at all. We can make hats. We know how to do that. This is just three pieces laced together. So that's pretty easy. I think it would be really fun to have caveman costumes. So yeah. we can start with a thing here, and then something for here. Taparrabo. How do you say it in English? I don't know how to say it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, and, uh, <laughs> and so, and then another option would be eventually to make a uh, jacket. That's a little advanced for right now. Yeah. And then, uh, and then also a blanket. I saw a design online where they actually cut the rabbit skins into strips, sew them together, and then they weave the strips together. Cuando son? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Bueno, una disculpa para los protectores de animales. Pero hemos concluido con el trabajo de hacer nuestra nuestro saco de chaleco. 
chaleco de, de comer. Y creo que es momento de probarlo. Para ver cómo quedó. Mm. Aquí mataron los conejos con, de una forma... Aquí los crían. Tienen muchos conejos y los mataron de una forma especial. Y, y buena onda, entonces no panique. Vamos. Atrás más negro, blanco. Son diferentes tipos de conejo y diferentes edades. Cuando es más, más dura la, la, la piel es porque son más grandes y cuando es más suave son más jóvenes. Entonces, mmm, espero que les haya gustado. Gracias. Uh, do you want to learn how to make cob? Sure. Earth mixture. Sure. We're fixing up a floor up there by the view. Okay. You'll be with a guy named Gato, that means cat. Yeah. Really nice guy. Okay. Smarter guys. And uh, cool. that's a great thing to learn because you can build buildings out of it. Where's yeah. the cat? The cat is up to view. <laughs> so just go meet him there? Yep. Yeah. So over here is the view, and this is where Ben is learning how to make cob which will be very useful if we want to build a mud house later, or a cop house, whatever that is. Hola. What are you guys doing? Right now we're just collecting water, five gallon buckets, six of them. So after we collect this water, I think we'll go down to where we make the cob, and we'll probably put the ingredients together. started mixing it with his feet after everything was mixed and I mean it was really well mixed but then we started uh, kind of just throwing it all around the I guess this area uh, and then after we would put it around he raked it all to kind of even it out and now he is completely uh, leveling it with uh, two by fours so hard work but good job Is it bad? <laughs> it's not bad, it's just I am weird. And um, the sweetness of apples actually kind of works in a soup. If you've never tried it, you should try it one time. Don't put too much, but just a little bit, just a hint. And uh, with a soup this big, you can easily hide an entire apple in there. Uh, and when people get a good crunch of it, they're pretty, they like it. They like it. Add some flavor to the soup because it's, it's, it's always bland on the front end, it's too watery. 
Yeah, so my mom used to actually stew a lot of tomatoes in oil and garlic, so I'm hoping this will actually help the soup out. Vamos a hacer esta receta casera. Yo le digo, pues, me la enseñaron mis papás. Viene siendo guayaba, dulce de guayaba, como, como una tipo mermelada. Y lo primero que tenemos que hacer es pues, cortar la guayaba en cuatro partes, como esto. Y para que sea más fácil de comerla y, y no andes batallando con las semillas. Se las quitas con una cuchara. Like. I'll eat it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> you don't have to throw it out. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so you take the skin. You take. You take the skin and I'll, eat, I'll, eat, I'll yeah. eat the middle part. And then. Good guayaba. Yeah. Later. You will put. Yes, I'm talking in English. <laughs> in five sentences, can you tell us what this is in English? In English. Just five sentences. Okay, this is um, a candy of guayaba. Um, guava. How, how is it? Guava. Guava. It's a candy of guava. You put it um, with water and uh, cinnamon. You put it in there, in the water, and they will cook. You put the, the, the guava in there. If you wish to put a sugar um, or this, it's a Mexico thing named Piloncillo. It's, it's awesome. So it's all. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget to take footage of yourself. So I'm making a video right now. <laughs>